Hello everybody, we are back. Episode 4. I hope that you have been working on your hats. And today I'm going to talk to you about poles and why I don't listen to them. First off, you're going to take this last section right here and you're going to measure, I don't know, about that far. And you're just going to snip this just like that, okay? And you're just going to thread it through. And you can just pinch the end and then just push it right through and then pull it out like that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go next little loop here and you're going to go straight down, straight down and under it. Then you're going to pull this through and lift that loop off as carefully as you can without removing the other one down, through, lift. Some of you might feel like you need a lot more because it'll feel like it's getting pretty short at some point. If you feel like you need two feet, three feet to do this, feel free. Just go all the way around pulling off the loop. The reason I don't listen to polls, it's because of what happened during the 2016 election. There were so many polls that said that there was a 91% chance that Clinton would win. The current president had a 9% chance to win. But here's the thing. So many of the polls back then were done over the phone. I don't know about you, but if I don't recognize the number that's calling me, I don't answer the phone. If I don't have you in my phone book and you want to get a hold of me, you must leave me a message because otherwise I'm not calling you back. Looking at 538.com now, a lot of the polling has started being done by survey monkey <laughs> I just don't know how much I trust a survey monkey response I feel like they need to find a better way to do it I take everything as far as polls go with a big old grain of salt I got to a point where I just like don't find them to be accurate so you have this hole in the top now all you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull this pull 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 until that hole is completely closed up then what you're going to do is you're going to take that same needle and you're just gonna start threading it in and out of this part of your hat you just want to make sure it is just not going to come undone so what I'm doing here is I am just in out in just pulling it through, making sure I'm not losing this part. And then in order to tie it off to make sure it's secure, I just kind of dig into it, come back up. So I've dug in, I've come up, and then you take this part, you wrap it around twice, bloop, wrap it around twice, and then you pull it straight through. And that gives you a little knot to where you can just pull it tight and then you can snip that off. You can do the same thing to this little tassel. This is your starting point. You thread your needle, you go in to the other side. You want these things to appear on the inside because that's the part that doesn't show on the outside of your hat. Then you just sort of weave it into these parts of the hat come back up, then make a little in and out, two loops, and pull, and snap. And you could be done. Or, if you want, you can make puff ball for the top. And what I have created here is you take, you draw a large circle, and then you draw a smaller circle, and then you cut out a little divot. The bigger this, the bigger your puff ball. So I have about this much left. And you are just going to start wrapping it around this. And you're just going to wrap. And what you want to do is you want to make it pretty even all the way around. I had so many people during the last election just not worried. All of the polls told them not to be worried. She has a 91% chance to win. I don't have to get my ass up and go vote for her. She has a 91% chance to win. I can't bring myself to vote for her. Other people will, so it'll be fine. Y'all, y'all, y'all. It didn't turn out fine, did it? With this, get it and you cut it off. 
it looks about like that. So then I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna take the rest of it. You're going to thread your needle again. And then you are going to stitch underneath, right up against that cardboard, all the way around. Now, you might say, but it doesn't turn the corner. No, it doesn't. You're just gonna pop it out. And then you're gonna go right back in that exact same spot and you're gonna work your needle around against that cardboard all the way until it pops out the other side. And you pull it like this. The way this works is you're just gonna start tying. Okay, so you can take this off now. And you're just gonna take this and you're gonna loop it. You're eventually gonna to wanna to make a square knot. So that's either left over right, then right over left, or right over left, then left over right. You just start with your first loop, you tie it pretty tight, and then you're gonna grab your scissors again. This is gonna be the difficult part because you're gonna to wanna to hold this all together. It's gonna to wanna to fall apart, and you glide it up underneath, right along the edge. Snip them all apart, right across that edge. Once you get all the way around, you have this part. So now you tie this tighter, tie it again, pull it tight, Keep it there, you don't, you don't clip it yet. Once everything is cut away, you just pull this off. You fluff it all out. Just take your scissors and clean it up a little bit. And you just like snip them all into about the same length. You can snip it off from what you were using. And you have this little like doohickey, right? They're at our needle with one of the ends. And then we're going to go through the top of the hat. Find your, your tight point at the top, and you're gonna stitch this right in to the outside of the, the inner loop. And then you do the same thing. You stitch it on through. I tend to do one with a little double knot. Pull it through. But I don't tend to cut this one yet, so I just leave that one there and then I go do the other side. As you start seeing all of these poles, when they start showing up in your favor, like your candidate is ahead by how many points, so we're just gonna repeat this, go through, you're gonna try to go directly opposite of the first one. So when I see all of these poles saying like, oh, this candidate's on top, that candidate's on top, I'm like, I don't believe it. I would like to, but because I don't believe it, I am not going to stop pushing because last presidential election, people stopped pushing, people stopped fighting, people were like, ah, it's in the bag. And we ended up with this horrible outcome. So say I've done north and south, we're going to go east and come back up through. And then we're going to go take this and go directly through the puffball, out the other side and then back down through the west. Do your little knot, tighten, and then you can snip the first, this, this one that just came through, and you can check it. If you feel that is secure enough, which it looks like mine is, you can then go back and snip the other one. You have a lovely fluffy hat with a puff ball at the top. I love it. So don't pay attention to polls, keep fighting, do what you have to do to get your friends, your family members, everyone you know, to go out and cast their vote, use their voice, and fight for what they believe in. Have a great time with your new fluffy hats in this oncoming cold weather. Autumn is upon us. Enjoy your hats, go vote. I hope you guys will stay tuned.